Hi everyone, it's Nicole Spore and welcome back to my channel. Today we have another handmade holiday video to share with you, this time with some reindeer shaped tags. A few weeks ago I did a couple of cards with pink and main stamps and dies and I had mentioned at the time that I thought this adorable little deer friend would make the most amazing little gift tags. I asked in the video if you wanted to see it. You guys said yes and so I included it in this year's handmade holiday. I have a sheet of eight and a half by 11 cardstock trimmed down into four and a quarter by five and a half inch panels. So that's four panels. Then I've put my dear friend in my Misty. I'm inking it up with some black ink for Copic coloring. I believe I'm using the Hero Arts Intensified Black Ink. And leaving my stamp in place, I am going to stamp two deers per panel. That means I am going to end up with eight reindeer tags. Now this might seem like a little bit of a big project for uh, this close to Christmas, but you guys, I promise this is one of the fastest projects I made simply because I broke it down assembly line style. The most time consuming part of this entire thing is probably the coloring. I timed it, it took me 45 minutes to color um, my reindeer. So I hope that kind of gives you a timeline. In fact, like I think 44 minutes, if we want to be technical, um, to color them in. That was the longest part of this. In fact, this is not that long of a video um, simply because um, it just didn't take that long to create these. So I'm stamping all of them assembly line style, then we're going to color them. I'm only gonna color one on camera. I took the rest to my kitchen table, sat and uh, kind of, I had my lunch and then I sat and colored. So that's, and I, I set my timer, um, had that going on so that I could tell you exactly how long it took and I just simply colored one panel at a time. Um, there's not that many colors. I have listed them in the description down below as well as on my blog. You can choose any coloring medium you want. Please remember though, because we are using Copic markers, an, an alcohol ink based marker, I should say, it bleeds through the cardstock, you're gonna wanna put some sort of panel on the back, plus it just lends itself to stability for these uh, tags because the legs are skinny, the, the die does cut around the legs, which also really makes it super cute, but you want to have that extra layer of protection. I'm using 110 pound weight cards, Nina Smooth White cardstock, for coloring in my images. So this is gonna be a pretty sturdy cardstock to start with. I used E49 and 47 for the hooves. I'm using R20 for the cheeks as well as E40. You may think E40 and R20 do not go together. I only want the cheeks to have a tint of pink. I don't actually want them to be pink. So then I'm going to color in the face area and the tummy as well as the antlers with E40 before we move on to our, oh, and the underside of the tail. I almost forgot that cute little tail sticking out the, the side. And then we're gonna move on to E43. That's gonna be the shading color for the lighter areas of our reindeer. And then that's going to be the base color for the rest of the deer. Quick little tag projects like this are always some of my favorite last minute projects. Um, consider tying these maybe to neighborhood treats for your neighbors or to other little gifts or things or even your packages for under the tree. I am working on, I've made a lot of tags this year, more than I've maybe made in the last two. I have a lot of tags already. I think I've talked about this in previous years. I generally repurpose my tags. So we don't throw the ones away. Um, even if we've written, you know, like let's say to Brendan from mom on it, uh, I, we pull that off, we save it and we put it back in the closet with the rest of the gift wrap and stuff, and then we pull it out and use it again the next year. Every once in a while though, you know, after general wear and tear, I've been doing this series for a while. I have been crafting for a while. Some of my tags don't look as great anymore and they do get retired. <laughs> um, so in that event, 
And I kind of feel like this year we just needed a few new ones as well as I've made some to give away as gifts. So that's, and it's always fun to make new ones. And sometimes we don't even repurpose them as tags. We'll use them, you know, as decoration. My older kids have taken them with theirs with them and things like that. So the darker color for the deer is E44. I've just blended that in, looks so, so cute. We're gonna go back with E44 now and add some little dot detail. This is something simple you can do. This is a very simple tag. There's not gonna be layered tags. There's not going to be a whole lot extra going on here. There's not going to be like a big stamped phrase or anything like that. So anything you can do to dress it up and the biggest part of the dress up there, you can see it right there on the screen is our red pom-pom. I did color in the base of the nose with R46 just in case any of it shows from around the pom-pom. I have been all about my red pom-poms this, this uh, 2021 Christmas season. I don't know why, but I do love them. <laughs> um, I've had them in my stash for a while. You can pick them up at, you know, discount stores or craft stores. Um, very easily. Then I added some little white dots to the cheek and then you guys can see we have skipped ahead. I have backers for all of my tags. Some of them have been assembled. This is out of some Lawn Fawn chocolate bar cardstock. We have a to and from from my favorite Simon Says Stamp Let's Make a Tag set that I stamped with white pigment ink so that I didn't even have to heat emboss. I'm not kidding when I'm telling you I wanted these to go together fast. Now, the backers for the deer, I purposely picked brown because I thought it would blend into the reindeer a lot nicer than maybe, let's say, a red or a black would. Or, and I thought white was too boring. White would have been fine as well. You could always stamp a sentiment with like red on the back and that would be super cute. Um, then I'm putting acrylic blocks on top to hold those two layers together. It's amazing to me how sturdy just these two layers of cardstock make this ornament. So I am going to go ahead and glue the rest of these together. I'm also using a glue that is not my favorite. Why I chose to use it, I'm not exactly sure. Um, but I'm gonna probably switch back to another glue, I think, here on camera. Just use what you have, though. A lot of times with my craft projects, I use what I have. Now you will notice some of the deer that I've already finished over there on the right side of the screen already have a tag topper on them, already have a pom-pom nose, and I've decorated their eyes. So generally how I handle eyes for critters is I take my black jelly roll pen, and I did. I started with that and I still felt like the eyes got lost. I think it's the addition of the pom-pom nose, which I don't use pom-poms like in my regular card making very often just because they make the envelope so bulky, but on tags and 3D projects, I love my dimensional embellishments. Love them, you guys. And so I thought, you know what? I think we need to do something different for the eyes. First up, we are going to add a tag topper. There is not a tag topper that comes with this dear, uh, dear friend set or pink and, and there might be one in pink and main, I don't know. I actually found a small one and I found my favorite one. It's from the Hero Arts nesting die, or nesting tag dies. Um, it is linked below. It is my favorite tag set. Um, there's several that are very similar, but I do love this fold over style because I think it works really great if you need to add a tag to something. And I wanted this to be as unobtrusive as possible. I did not want to punch a hole in the top of the reindeer head. You totally could. You, this is an extra step. Um, by punching a hole with like a crocodile or a hole punch, that's going to save you a little bit of time and a little bit of die cutting. I, of course, did die cut mine from chocolate bar cardstock again because I want this to blend into the deer and not stand out. And then I'm just simply going to glue them to the top of each. And I'm so sorry I'm so far down here. You get to a great shot of me holding flat my reindeer, but not as good of a shot of me adding the tag toppers. Now I love my reverse clamp tweezers for using as a clamp. Using as a clamp to hold that little tag topper in place, the liquid glue is going to secure this really nicely to your reindeer. It's going to hold it in place and you're gonna be good to go. So that is my recommendation for uh, if you want to add a tag topper here. Otherwise, you can always just little punch a little hole there and 
thread in some pretty twine and call it good. All of these extra little things definitely don't have to happen. I just always say I'm extra because I probably am a little bit and I love, love, love those finishing details. Now I did not add ribbon to all of these. I wanted to give you a couple of options. I have this really thin silk ribbon. I've had it forever. Um, I, I believe this is the 1 8 inch silk ribbon. It is white. I'm tying it around the neck of four of my deer tags. I'm going to leave it off of the others. It is kind of fussy. It's probably, it's just one of those things, if you have time, it's fun. I would wished I'd had red or enough green. I had a little bit of green, but not a lot. Um, next year, I already looked into it. I wanna buy some more of this because I haven't bought ribbon in years. This is all leftover that I've had for years and years and years since like scrapbooking days. But I think I wanna get some more because this really thin silk ribbon is my absolute favorite. It ties into a super tiny little tight knot, so it's great for things like this. And I really like the addition of it around the neck of the reindeer. It's a finishing touch you can do. I left some of them without just so you could see what it looks like. I'm using black Nouveau crystal drops to add the eyes and look at the difference. I am amazed, you guys absolutely amazed. You can see down there in the bottom left corner what the eyes look like. They're really small. And then you add a little dimensional black Nouveau crystal drop and it's amazing. So I did that next. I let the eyes dry. I'm working. Some of these have been sitting for a while so things are dry and I can kind of get by with you know, going in and adding ribbon to some of them or whatever. But I would recommend doing any of that fussy part first. The eyes and the nose need to be your final things because they really just need to sit and dry. The liquid glue and the Nouveau Crystal Drops needs to sit and dry. But look how cute. I mean, I can't get over this. I First of all, I love this image when I got it. I couldn't wait to use it on a card. I will link to that video at the end of this one if you wanna see some cute images. I am giving away my sets of Pink and Main. I'm giving away this one and then the Christmas mugs. It comes with the stamps and the dies. Um, definitely head over to my blog post and check it out. Leave a comment if you would like to win these sets. The giveaway will get over pretty quickly because I want to get this sent out, um, you know, the week at the end of the week before Christmas. I, I know you probably won't get it in time maybe to uh, do anything this year, but hopefully next. But I want to give this away, so definitely run over there and check it out. And I'm just clamping on the rest of these. This was assembly line. I, like As I did, finished one step, I would just move on to the next and the next. These are my Spellbinders tweezers as well. I have the reverse tweezers from Spellbinders and Honeybee Stamps. They are both wonderful. And there's the little eyes. Look at that. You can see there's the one in the center of the screen, haven't done his eyes, and then the rest I have, I believe. And it just makes a world of difference. Now, if you don't have pom-poms, here is a couple of other, or another idea that you could do. Color the nose red like we did, and then add some glossy accents or some other you know crystal lacquer from hero arts something like that to your nose and that's going to give it a glossy raised finish you could also use some glittery finish like nouveau crystal drops and white blizzard is my favorite and that's going to give it a glittery clear iridescent nose but just make sure your base color is red if you want it to be like a little red nose you could also take like a red pearl gemstone or even um, another kind of red gemstone. I just thought the pearl ones, but whatever. And you could use that for the nose as well instead of a pom-pom. So I wanted to give some other options. If you guys have this set already and you think you want to do some last minute reindeer tags, but you don't have red pom-poms, those are some things you might have on hand. If you have white pearls, color them in with your Copic markers to red. That would be really, really cute. I just love texture here, and I think anything you can do to add some texture to that nose is really going to elevate the finished result. So I'm just going to continue to finish adding eyes, noses, tag toppers, all that good stuff. And then of course, I'm finishing my tags today with my absolute favorite lawn trimmings twine from Lawn Fawn. It's the Red Sparkle. I think I'm on my last roll of it. I think I have bought a roll every year since it came out. 
Um, it's my absolute favorite. I just really love it. It works great for tags. And where I do make so many tags during the holiday season, it works really great for me. And I think someone used my scissors for paper. These scissors I've had forever. They are my fabric, or these are actually my ribbon only scissors, and they are so dull. In fact, I had to go to my sewing drawer and get a different pair of scissors. I was so mad. And I'm convinced some child of mine has used these for paper at some point because I did not remember them being so dull. And then let's see, we're just gonna, here is the die. Oh, here's all my pom-poms too. I have everything in this clear acrylic tray. I know I talk about these all the time. I use these trays to kind of hold all of the product I'm using because I did do these over multiple, do parts of this over multiple days. No, the project didn't take that terrible long, but I had other things in between. And so I just kind of threw everything I was using in this tray so that I could quickly come back to it when I had time and finish them. So that included things like pom-poms and all of that good stuff. Okay, what do you guys think? Isn't it so much fun adding those little pom-poms to their noses? I love it. I just think it's the perfect finishing touch. I'm gonna be sad when I'm out of these tiny little red pom-poms. I'm gonna have to go look for some more, I think, before next year. As many little reindeer as I felt the need to make this year with red pom-pom noses, I definitely think I'm gonna need some more. Now I used about 10, I know you can't see the full grid, but I'm using the uh, grid ruler there on my self-healing all to new mat. And I used about 10 inches of the red sparkle. And then after I trimmed one of them, I used it as a guide to cut all of the rest. And then we're simply gonna thread them through the top of each and knot them. Nothing more than that. I decided to keep it really, really simple. And then hopefully I'll show you kind of all of them all dry because I any of them that I just put noses on I really let sit and dry before fussing with them I don't want to smear the eyes I don't want to knock the nose off and have glue everywhere and I say this because so many years I or so many projects not even years I probably did it last week I get impatient and that happens. So I actually went and worked on another project, which you can see in the top of the screen. It's coming soon as well. Uh, but I tried to move it out of the way a little bit. And now that everything is completely dry, because it's probably been like two or three hours, I'm just going to thread through my ribbon or my twine rather. And that's going to be it. Super fun, super easy. I hope this has inspired you to maybe try some tags. Keep tagging me on social media. I have been trying to check it more often. I know I've seen some of you tag me in, with your tag projects that you've been inspired. I love, love, love seeing that. Thank you guys. I appreciate you tagging me and showing me what you're making. I love it so, so much. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this set of eight reindeer shaped gift tags featuring pink and main stamps and dies. The supplies I use to create my tags are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is another video featuring the Pink and Main Dear Friend set. A huge shout out and thank you to my Patreon members. If you would like to join us on Patreon, please click the link down below in the description. Please remember to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to always find out when I have a new video. Thank you guys so much for joining me and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.